Well, in terms of understanding the context, uh, it's really important because if we are to be, you know, we are grooming people to be true leaders, they need to understand that Asia will be the driver of essentially the changes that we see in the 21st century. So if you're going to contribute positively as a leader, you need to understand the bigger picture, you need to understand the trends, and you need to understand the context. I think in terms of the trends, in terms of networking, etc., that the Asian region has adopted, I think it has worked pretty well in terms of the ability of leaders in the region to sort of both merge trends in the region with insights from other parts of the world, be it the West, Middle East, Africa, and that's increasingly growing. The Asian region will be the most populated region in the world by 2050. The world's population will be about 10 billion. Six billion will live in this region. No matter where you live, whether you're in Singapore, Vietnam, India, China, or in Pakistan, those changes are going to be so dramatic in a globalized world. There's no running away from the fact that Asia will shape the 21st century. Not because we're the brightest or smartest or we're the worst or whatever, it's just numbers. Six billion out of 10 billion. Everything depends on how we deal with the next 50 years. I think what differentiates this program from other programs is uh, firstly, the focus on looking at ASEAN. That's a good thing. Uh, secondly, the focus on bringing a diverse range of industry players. And I think that is a very good thing. And I also like the fact that, you know, this is not a one day conference. There's a learning journey for everyone. And there's also part of the program that includes experiential learning, which is, which is always, always a good thing.